Hello everyone, it's Cheryl. I want to show you how I really quickly and easily made this tutu for my granddaughter. All the things that I bought, and here is the tutu. All the things I bought were at Walmart. So, almost everybody has a Walmart in the area. Real, real quick, easy project. The longest thing is cutting the tool, which takes about five minutes. So what you will need is one ribbon um, of medium thickness or you can attach a headband some people do it on a headband anything that will fit around the child's waist I used a ribbon because I thought it was better because it's adjustable so all the supplies like I said are from Walmart I used this ribbon right here she's an October baby so I thought that that would be really cute. This is for her birthday party. Her little tutu. I had looked on Etsy and the prices for these little tutus was a little too much. It was like $45 for a tutu with a t-shirt. The t-shirt was like a $5 Walmart t-shirt. And yeah. So I decided to make one myself. And it took no time whatsoever. So you just need a ribbon. Like I said, that's about medium length makes it a lot easier you have the kid stand in front of you decide if you want it this one is gonna go to Alyssiana's knees but if um, she wanted like a Tinkerbell or something like that you can adjust the height this one is a little bit long so you just take the ribbon and wrap it around the child's waist when you find the child's waist you add a knot at the end so that you know where to start and where to end with all the tool and ribbon and stuff. So it's really, really thick as you can see in there. You know, it's thick. For the most part, you can't see through it, but my granddaughter's gonna wear pants underneath. Um, this is not for Halloween. These can be made easily for Halloween if your daughter's gonna be a princess, a fairy, a bride, anything like that. As you can see from the top of this, no time at all. So I picked up three of these pink ones. I only used two. And this is what you look for in the craft section. This is a 6 inch by 25 yard roll of tool. They come in every color you can imagine. This was I think a dollar, dollar twenty seven or a dollar thirty seven. So Depending on how big the child is, if you're making it for a one-year-old, of course you wouldn't need that much, probably one. And this thing comes like jam-packed with tool on it. I'm going to use this instead of streamers for her birthday party. And what you want to do is measure out, like I said, a strip and double it. So we measured out, we didn't want it too long where she would trip because you're going to wrap it like that. You want to double the length. So we measured it out, cut it like that. And that's what you're going to do with the roller tool. You just take your end to end, pull it off the roll. When you get to the end, cut it. And you just keep going with that until you have all your tool cut into strips. Then once you have that, Whatever color combination you are going to go with, you grab your tool, you fold it in half, and you can either tie it in a knot around the ribbon and then just pull the bottom through there and make a knot that way, or I just like to loop it like this. Let's see if I can do this on camera by myself. Probably not. I loop it like this. Make a little loop. Like that. You open the loop. Wrap it around the ribbon. You pull the tool through like this. And it makes a little knot all the way around. You just want to make sure that all the little knots face the same way. So if you're going to face them in, that they all face the in. Or if you're going to face them out, 
they all face out. If you face them in, it's a little less puffy, but if you face them out, they're a little more puffy. So I knotted all the way around. Looks like this when they're done. And I knotted them out so that the little they puff out more. I also bought at Walmart, I think these were 49 cents, something like that, or two for a dollar, the ribbon. Now the thin ribbon comes on a roll like this. And it looks like this. I measured this a little bit longer than the tutu so that it'll dangle over and hang down. You just tie all the way around. This is great if you um if you're having someone's getting married and they're you're gonna have like your bachelorette party, you can buy all white and or add a color to match the her wedding scheme, and you're going out for a night of drinks or whatever, um, make the bride a really cute tutu, get a t-shirt that says bride on it, and yeah, adorable. This is just for Luciana. She's worn this already. This is for her Monsters High party. So the Monsters High colors are black, pink, and blue. So that's why I did that. I have two of the pink, one strand of blue, and two of the black. With two of the blue as well as the black and the pink and the ribbon, it looked too full and too crazy on her. So that's what her little tutu looks like. She loves it. She's not using it for Halloween. She's going to be um, Anna from Frozen. A lot of people make Frozen ones of these. They use the blue like this with the white. And you can add like the snow, the ice colored ribbon in it whatever you want like I said really inexpensive I think it cost me about 10 bucks for all the tool the ribbon and this ribbon as well um, like I said you don't have to use Halloween theme ribbon you could use black white whatever you want I just used it because like I said Alyssiana is an October baby and I couldn't find any monsters high so I thought that was cute real quick real easy like I said it goes by like that if you're looking for a last minute Halloween costume and um, you don't know what to do, get yourself a Marvel or a Disney t-shirt, run to Walmart, buy the tool, the ribbon, make yourself a tutu, and boom, you want to be Iron Man or whatever. Real quick, real easy, love it. People are going to get a kick out of it. You can embellish the top with ribbon so that you don't see the knots. But I mean, my granddaughter's going to be five. She likes it like this, but you can wrap ribbon around the top to give it a more polished look. Adults, like I said, adults can wear them. Children, you just measure the ribbon around the waist. Measure how long you want the tool. Double it. Add it to the ribbon and there you go. You'll have a beautiful, beautiful tool skirt. Yeah, I think it's fun and like I said, I'm not waiting for her to use it for her birthday. She uses it over here all the time. Just wanted to pass that along in case anybody has. You know, this looks really pretty too. If you do diaper cakes for little boys or little girls all around the bottom of the diaper cake, if you make it a little tutu, oh, adorable. Um, these also look nice on tables. If you're having a party or something like that, to match the colors, instead of getting like the plastic tablecloths, you can do this inexpensively. Millions of things you can do with these. I also made her a matching headpiece. If you want to see it, let me know and I'll show you. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will talk to you all later. Ciao!